and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for returning to my channel if you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that and give a thumbs up if you like this video but today we are going to play with a couple of new products that I got now some of them I did try maybe once or twice and some of them I've never I haven't tried yet so we are going to do that together couple of products we are going to try today is this oil-free setting spray from Urban Decay. This is all nighter, small version. I didn't want to repurchase the big one because I didn't know if I would like it. I really like the Fix Plus and I want to repurchase that one. But before I did, I really wanted to try this one and that's why I got this small bottle. If I like it, I'm going to repurchase the bigger size. Now also bought this L'Oreal, what is it called? Double Extensions Technology Beauty Tube. This is a, a new mascara. My sister loves it. So this is her, I can actually say this is the only mascara she ever wears. She loves this mascara. She swear, swears by it. I did try it two, three days. And uh, I'm kind of in the middle of my opinion. So we'll see. And then I also bought this Ofra highlighter Glow Goals. Really excited to try this one. I did swatch it, but I didn't try it. And also this uh, color, color rain. I think I pronounced that right. Cheers to beauty palette. Now I did got this for a week ago, and I played with it for whole week, and I do like it. So today we are going to create a makeup look with this palette. So if you want to see that and want to see me trying other products that I haven't showed you yet, please keep on watching. We're going to. The first thing we're going to try today, this is a mattifying primer from Kix. I did mention this in one of my other videos and it kind of reminds me of um, that photo finish, Smashbox. I think it's called photo finish primer. I really like this primer. I really do. I'm not... A soft skin primer that can be used alone or under makeup that visibly smooths the skin surface. The formula consi consists of vitamins and antioxidants that refine skin texture and re reduce imperfections, creating a set of soft finish. Makeup glides on more easily and colors last longer. I can actually agree with that. A couple of their products I really like. But this primer is very popular in Sweden, so I did bought, bought it this month to try it out and I do like it. For my eyes, I'm going to try out this primer from Lumen, Lumen Beauty Base Eyeshadow Primer. This is also a primer that my sister really, really likes. They, it's an old version of that primer. They do have a new version that it's white tube, the white packaging. Um, and I'm going to try this today. I have nothing on my eyes. And see it. I do try many new... Oh, there's some pigment in it. I do try many new products or eyeshadow primers to see which one I like more. I did uh, finish my eyebrows or fill in them a little bit. And then I also mentioned this product. This is Makeup Store Neutralizing Purple in my video, my favorite or oh, my favorites of 2018 that I did with my sister. Now I didn't have I haven't seen other people talking about this product. And I actually when I was preparing for that video, I picked up the products that I really, really enjoyed and loved in 2017. I did use it a lot in the beginning of 2017, but then kind of during the summer, I kind of forgot about it. So I started using this when I, after filming that video, my favorite 2017, and I've been using it every day since then. What I did is that I mixed it with my favorite foundation from Rebecca Stella, all about that base, and oh, I love it. That combo is perfect. Let's shake this a little bit. So what I do, I do take a little bit, almost two pumps, not too much because it, this is a full coverage foundation. And then I take this product. Come on. This much, oh, running. And then I mix it with the foundation like this. I don't know if you can see it. I'm out of focus a little bit. I'm going to place that on my skin. You see, I didn't mix it perfectly, but it's going to mix 
together while I'm applying it on my face or blending it on my skin. And I'm going to take my Clarisonic. So now I have my foundation on. Let's go over to the prime concealer, not primer, concealer. Where is my concealer? I'm actually trying to finish my Maybelline Anti-Age Erase, Erase Eye Concealer. I do like this concealer, but it, it's not my favorite. I'm going to blend it with my favorite beauty sponge right now. And this is also from Rebecca Stella. I really like this. It's a little bit firmer than Beauty Blender, but I do like it. Oh, it starts creasing. We have to set this also with a powder soon. Guys, I do have a giveaway going on on my channel. I'm going to put the link down below. It's my Valentine's Day giveaway. There is some amazing products that you can win. So don't forget to click that on that link, watch that video and follow all the rules and you will be in my giveaway. So to set this, I'm actually going to try this L'Oreal, the new L'Oreal True Match Miner Minerals Mattifying Powder. Now, I did try this once and I can say I loved it. I kind of found this packaging a little bit strange. And there is the powder. You don't get a lot of the product. You get, how much do you get? 10 grams. So it's not a lot of the product. I don't know how much you should use. I want to show you guys how it looks inside. I don't know if you can see, but you have to tap this product into something and you can't use the lid because it has some, this in the middle. I don't know really why. So I'm going to use this brush and apply to set my concealer and my eyeshadow primer. I need to blend it a little bit more, start creasing again. Don't disappoint me. I'm going to take a little bit of it on my... It's kind of hard to get to the product. I did try this powder once and I did tap it into something else and I'm going to do tap it on my hand. It's white, fine meal, because I can't get my brush into this. It's not working. I'm going to set this and I really really like this powder. It kind of minimizes my pores. It's very fine milled and it keeps me matte. It does it also doesn't make my under eye very dry. I like I said I really like this powder but I don't like the packaging. I don't like the packaging. I think it's a beautiful packaging but it's not very practical so I don't like it. It says Mattifying powder, powder, an ultra fine translucent powder to mattify the skin and set makeup soft and non drying. This formula is enriched with min mineral silica powder, universal shade, non comedogenic. And I really like this. My pores are less visible and I like the finish. I really like the finish. Okay, let's go to the next product. And I really want to start with this palette. I'm actually going to swatch all the shades and show you how this how this look. But let me say this palette is beautiful. It has a nice mirror. This palette I ordered from their website from Color Colored Rain website and it took it almost 3-4 weeks for it to arrive. I did pay a high shipping price, shipping cost for this palette on their website and when it arrived in Sweden it stopped on custom service and I had to pay a lot to get this palette out and why I ordered it on the, their website is because I did ask, ask them on the Instagram if this palette is going to be available on Beauty Bay because I don't pay shipping and not, nothing for customer service either so did, they didn't reply me for a week so I did order it because they said it was a limited edition or I read it somewhere I don't say they said it but I did read it somewhere I think on Instagram and I really wanted this palette because I love my other palette from them, the Queen palette. So I did order it and it costed me almost, not almost, but it costed me like two palettes. So it is available on Beauty Bay. I uh, suggest that you order it over there if you live outside the US because the shipping price 
and the customer service is too high and that was the mistake I did so not going to do that again but I do like it I really like this palette the pigmentation is amazing so we are going to use it today and let's swatch I'm not going to go into details of this watch And the last shade here is actually a highlighter that I do like. It has kind of pinky undertone, but look how beautiful that highlighter is. Nice. But I'm not going to try that highlighter on my skin today, or maybe we will a little bit, we'll see. So let's start with a makeup look. I'm actually going away, so I want to finish in a, this video soon. So let's start with the makeup look. I'm going to take this shade all over my eye and you can't really see this shade but it kind of sets a base for the rest of the eyeshadows and then we are going to take the powder room This palette is a little bit powdery but I do really like it now there is a little bit fallout especially from these these shimmery or glittery shades so there was some fallout from this shade here especially this one and I did have it the first time I used because I did use the same shade but it's not bad and if you use maybe concealer under it or other sticky base maybe it will work better but I don't mind it works fine that's not a lot of not a lot of, of the fallout but there is a little bit not too much I'm going to contour my face with this like I always do so this is not a new product <laughs> broke my brush you see that 
this is not a new product but a product of one of my favorites this is also from Rebecca Stella and this is bronzer in peachy bronze it's very pigmented so I have to be careful not to take too much product but it blends beautifully so wet and wild this is rose champagne shade also not a new product Okay, I think it's time to take the highlighter. Now, I did swatch it and when it came, it kind of looked very powdery, the packaging. So the powder is all around it. I don't know if you can see it. Very dirty. So I was scared because this is one is expensive that it's going to be destroyed, but it wasn't actually. Oh, look at this highlighter, guys. Look. God. Okay, take this brush, just tap it like this because this one is very pigmented oh. <laughs> so beautiful so beautiful doesn't exaggerate my big pores Ooh, love it let's take this one before I set before I do my mascara looks like this let's shake it oh one more Okay, I don't like how it smells, but it kind of did a good job. I have to see how it's going to work during the day and how it's going to make my foundation stay and or my makeup stay on my face. So I don't really like this mascara. It kind of flakes during the day on me. My sister loves it and I see her use this every day and it looks beautiful on her eyes. It doesn't flake, it doesn't looks strange but on my eyes for some reason I really don't know it flakes so but I did give it a try I think I'm going to pass this mascara to her I don't know if you can see but it did good did do a beautiful job but I just it does look good now but after a couple hours it does start faking flaking that's what I don't like but We'll see. And now for the last product we're going to use, I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution lipstick in shade Nude. And then I'm going to try for the first time this product over it. Where is it? This is La Lastine Paris Lip Enhance Enhancer. This says contains oligoproptis. I know this active gloss reshapes lips with a few weeks by giving them fullness, texture and gloss. This transparent product adds a touch of shine to your lips. Apply it on own to the lip for four weeks for a natural look or over your lipstick for a glossy finish. Avoid all contact with the eyes. Keep away from children. So I haven't tried it and I'm going to try it over my lipstick today. Of course I have to use it for four weeks to see if it actually does something. It looks like this strange applicator. Oh, it makes this lipstick very streaky. It looks nice over the lipstick, but it kind of makes this lipstick a little bit streaky. So I wouldn't recommend it with cream lipsticks. I maybe it would be better if I used a liquid matte lipstick, but we'll see. Well, guys. That was everything that I had for you today. This is the old products I use today. I really love these two. These are my favorite. I kind of like this, but we'll see how it's going to wear. I do I like the mascara. No, I do not like mascara. This worked fine. So overall, this was a great video. Give a thumbs up if you like this video and want me to do these kind of videos more. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enter my giveaway and see you in my next video. Bye.